Automobile electronics is extremely important for all aspects of driving and is being developed continuously in all areas. It is therefore very difficult to say which area is the most exciting. Our leitmotif is safe, clean and economical. We're making strong and continuous progress everywhere. We will present components at Electronica just like we've already exhibited our products at other trade fairs. The most important factor for vehicle safety nowadays is that as many vehicles as possible are equipped with the ESP system. This is a very effective measure in preventing road casualties and traffic accidents. However, there are still many countries and vehicles where ESP is not fitted. We are expecting a further increase in market penetration in this case. Of course, the technology is also being continuously improved and is being supplemented by other systems in the area of driver assistance. For example, we use radar and video technology to help drivers drive better and make fewer mistakes. We warn them and protect them against making wrong decisions. Electric bikes now already represent a large market, for example in Asian countries such as China. Electric bikes will also become increasingly more important in Europe, other mature markets and industrial nations, and will certainly have a different kind of motivation, not so much as a means of transport, but rather as a sports and leisure item. Electric bikes contain technology based on modern semiconductors and efficient electronic control units, motors and sensors. All these core electronic and mechatronic technologies are now used in electric bikes. Modern lithium-ion batteries also naturally help to design these bikes in a very compact form. Since the demand for electric bikes is rising, we're predicting a very dynamic market growth. Electric and electronic components now have a value share of around 40% in motor vehicles. This proportion will naturally increase substantially as driving becomes more electrified. I do not want to mention any percentages at present. However, it's obvious that suitable power electronics are needed in a high-powered electric machine. There will be batteries which show the energy reserve and are managed electronically. This means that we can expect continuously increasing levels of equipment with electronic systems in future. All the main electronic systems in vehicles are now already interconnected through efficient bus systems. For example, the CAN bus. In future, this development will naturally continue. We will not only network the systems inside vehicles, but also with the environment outside vehicles. This is already taking place, since telematic systems in the information area can provide the drivers with messages. For example, drivers can receive messages about traffic jams via their navigation system. And as the number of new options in telematics increases, it will naturally be possible for drivers to receive more and more information from outside their vehicle. Conversely, it will also be possible for the vehicle to transmit information about its own behavior and therefore also inform other road users. The vision here is called car-to-car -car communication. In technical terms, it's almost within the realms of possibility. All the participants in the industry are working flat out on the contents to turn this vision into reality. The objective here is also to achieve accident-free driving. Although this is still some way off in the future, electronics will provide us with a very large number of opportunities, in this case, in the years to come.